Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy December. I hope you're having a great start to the month. So in today's video, I'm doing my November, nope, nope. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm doing my December makeup rotation and get ready with me. I'm super pumped for this. I don't know why November has just felt so long and I'm not complaining because it was an amazing month, but I just feel like the last time I rotated out my makeup was so long ago. So I'm so ready to just switch out my products and have some new stuff for the month. But I just feel like this is a better place to chat about my makeup of the month just face to face with the camera instead of being behind the camera. I don't know, I feel like it's easier for me to talk and get my thoughts out this way. So I'm just gonna like quickly run through everything here and like my favorites, what I loved, lip products I used, that kind of thing. But let me think if there's anything else I wanted to say. Oh, I do have a code with YesStyle now, so I will link it down below and I'll put it on the screen right here. You can use code Sarah C. If you're doing any holiday shopping on YesStyle, that would mean a lot to me if you use my code um, and I have a link as well down in the description box. So just wanted to say that, that's a quick little update. Into my November makeup. So I had so much fun using all of these products. I really, really loved this month and I loved it. I, I think it was great. I had a great mix of products. I will go ahead and put some different makeup looks on the screen right here for you guys. Yeah, I just had so much fun with this. I did a lot of natural looks, a lot of super, super shimmery, glittery looks using this Rowan 1111. 11 11 this rowan 11 11 oh my gosh why can't i say it this rowan 11 11 quad i think i'm getting the hang of using this now um uh, my tartlet and bloom palette i love i got some great use out of these shades i tried to use basically almost all of them i don't think i used these two for my base products i basically rotated between the two that i picked so the tower 28 uh, sunny days foundation spf and then this peach c honey glow cushion um, i got some good use out of my ilia true serum concealer and i added this elf hydrating camo concealer like halfway through november just because you can probably see the color difference there. The e.l.f. one's a lot lighter and I kind of needed that to balance out this Ilia one. It's hard to tell how much I've used this, but I think I do want to keep this in my rotation for next month as well as this mascara just so I can get some more use out of this. I'm almost finished with this one. And this e.l.f. one, I just don't love it as much as I used to, so I do want to use it up. I'm not doing a project pan, but in my head I have the products in my collection that I do want to like hit pan on or finish. So there's always like this mini project pan going in my head. <laughs> my lip products I used this month were basically anything I had in my purse or any of the new lip products that have been added to my collection recently. So these Merit Beauty lip oils, um, the Pure Exo Nabella Lip Chubby, and then the two Mood Matte Lipsticks, Ink Mood Matte Lipsticks from Peri Para from my last video. I love the blushes this month so much. These two were just great. I paired them together sometimes. I used them for like separate looks. This is Tower 28 Happy Hour, gorgeous, kind of like hot pinky color. And then my e.l.f. Studio Blush in Blushing Rose. Thought I was gonna hit pan on this, but I didn't, so we'll keep trying. I just feel like this is never ending. This Moonbeam Cushion from M Cosmetics. I didn't use all that much. I don't know, I just think I prefer powder highlighters recently or just my new Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter and then i think this is my current favorite bronzer right now i used it basically every day that i did my makeup this month the fenty beauty bronzer in into sun i think that's all i really want to talk about <laughs> i went basically over everything oh this little elf stick was nice for my inner corners as well i was enjoying using that but so now it's time to finally put away these products and pick new products for december let's just get into it because i'm so excited to play with some new makeup some new old makeup. We're gonna shop my stash. running out of space here. My skin has been so insanely dry recently, but I have been preferring a little bit more coverage. I kind of want to do this Merit Beauty stick for foundation and then maybe 
Honestly, maybe this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. This is super pretty on its own, but I think it would be nice paired with my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like that would be a great combo. And then I kind of want to do a similar situation like I did last month where I just have two concealers that I mix together. So this is the Moist Creamy Concealer from Apu and then the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And then the last thing I'm gonna pull is this Becca Brightening Under Eye Corrector in the shade Light to Medium. So these are all my base products. I know it's a lot, but I think this is a good combination of stuff and I can kind of like customize depending on the look I'm going for. So last month I did two blushes. I think I'm gonna go for three for the month of December just because I have so many and I do wanna start, you know, using some more up. I just feel like two isn't enough at the moment. So I wanna use one of these M Cosmetics ones because I haven't in so long. So should I do Venetian Rose or Magic Hour? I think I'm gonna do Venetian Rose. I think that's more of a December color for me and this one's more like spring and summer, if that makes sense. I do wanna use a Glossier Cloud Paint and I think I'm gonna do Puff just to stick with that pink blush theme I've been loving each month. I just need to have a pink blush in my makeup rotation every single month. I might do this blush, the Holika Holika Jelly Dough Blusher in the shade Nuts Jelly because I haven't used this in a while and it's just a good neutral. So we have like a rosy one, a pink one, and then this will be a good neutral blush to use. Next up for bronzer and highlight, I think I'm gonna do this Glossier solar paint. So I do want to use this just so I can kind of test it out a little bit more. This is in the shade Flare. I just want to keep using this Fenty Beauty one. Would it be bad to keep using it? I just feel like this is such a good winter bronzer shade for me. I might just pull it back out again. And then for highlight, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild highlight in Blossom Glow. Okay, so for palettes, my palette drawer is now overflowing because I literally shoved everything in here. I kind of want to do this e.l.f. Rosewater Quad. I haven't used this in a long time. I would love to play with this a little bit more. Also, I've been using this uh, Pure Exo Nimbella Embrace Your Face palette. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom here. I've been using it so, so much, even though it wasn't in my rotation. I just found myself pulling it out to use for different shades, for the highlighter. Um, I've just really been enjoying that. I do want to get some more use out of this to kind of continue formulating my thoughts on it. So I guess I'll do this, the Glossier Monochromes in Jute. And then we need some neutrals. So we could do the Natasha Denona or my new ColourPop quad in Cream Soda. I think I'm gonna go for Natasha Denona. Okay, so next up here, my single shadows. Maybe I'll do this uh, Rimmel Wonder Cloud liquid shadow. This is in the shade, I think it's like taupe something, but I am gonna have this just for a little one and done look, something really easy I can do. And then for eyeliners, oh, this is just the powder I've been using. I just threw it in here. I've been using this to set my under eyes, so I'm just gonna keep this in here to keep using. I think I wanna do this um, ColourPop eyeliner. This red one, this is in the shade Why Not. I feel like using this could be fun for some holiday looks. And I could definitely pull my ColourPop mascara in burgundy to go with it. That would be really nice. I kind of want to use this as well, this ColourPop brown eyeliner. So these will be my two little eyeliners of the month. For brows, I'm doing the Merit Beauty brow gel in brown and then the Undone Beauty brow pen and brow gel, I believe also in brown. Then for mascara, I'm doing the Rimmel Wonder Extension Mascara and then the Level Up Mascara from ColourPop in Burgundy. So here's the makeup I'm using for the month of December. I feel like we got a good variety of things and some stuff that I haven't used in a while, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into the organizer and we will move on to the Get Ready With Me. Okay, so now that I've picked the products, we can go ahead and do the Get Ready With Me where I just show you guys, oh, sorry, <laughs> how I would use these products like on a day-to-day -day basis. So I feel like we can create so many different looks with this. I really wanna start out with the L'Oreal foundation and mix it with some of this Hollywood flawless filter. So I'm gonna do that. Oh my gosh, I literally keep kicking the tripod. Okay, I love this combo. 
it's giving me the coverage I want, but also it's giving me the natural glow that I'm looking for from my usual like skin tint kind of base products, if that makes sense. This is where I've been the driest, like right in the center of my forehead. And no matter how much moisturizer I use, once I put on my like foundation or base products right there, it's just been looking so bad. And today it actually looks pretty good. You can't see any of the dry patches. So maybe it's just the mix of those two products that's working really well together. So I'm gonna kind of mix these concealers under my eyes as I planned. I just kind of like put some, you know, around. And then I'm gonna use the lighter one where I want to highlight. See how much lighter that one is? It's weird. I find with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, the more I apply, the better it looks. Like usually with concealer, I can just dot on a little bit and blend it out and that looks fine. But I feel like it makes me look more dry with the e.l.f. concealer when I just do a little bit. It's very interesting. Also, it kind of smells like paint. I don't know if that's kind of always how the scent has been or if I'm just now noticing it. It looks beautiful under the eyes. Beautiful combo. I am gonna set under my eyes a little bit with this Maybelline powder. Moving on to the bronzer, I guess we should use the Glossier Solar Paint since I kind of wanna test this out a little bit more. Um, I don't know, maybe I should use the stippling brush to blend it out, I really don't know. Or a sponge, we'll just go for it and see how it turns out. I saw someone use this and it kind of looked really pretty as like an all over cheek product. It kind of looked like a, br a blush and a bronzer on them and I love the way that that looked, so. Okay, so this is definitely a warm bronzer. I think it looks nice, but I don't know. Am I too pale for this? I'm gonna do some kind of like, oh, that just got all in my hair. It's okay. They always say like blend your bronzer into your hairline, so hopefully that just, you know, adds to a more natural look. So there's the bronzer. I'm really happy. Oh, I'm really happy with it, honestly. I was nervous it would be kind of like one of those bronzers that I can only use in the summertime because of just how glowy and bronzy it is, but, um, and I think it'll just look even better once the whole look comes together. So next up, I'm gonna use this blush from Holika Holika in Nuts Jelly, and I'm just gonna use the little applicator it comes with. I haven't used this in a long time, I'm excited. Can always count on me to put on way too much blush. So next I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Blossom Glow. It's so pretty, it's like a pinky highlight, but it's not too pink, you know? It's kind of like a, like a champagne pink, I guess I would say. I would love to hit pan on this though. This is probably one of the things in the back of my head that's like a, a project pan product. Um, I do wanna dip into a few of my eyeshadow palettes today that I picked, but I'm gonna start with this e.l.f. Rosewater Quad and I'm gonna use the matte shade um, for a transition shade all over my crease. Let me zoom you guys in. Hopefully you can see this eyeshadow look a little bit more. This is a really light purpley neutral color. There was a shade like this in the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and that was like my favorite shade in the whole palette. So this is really similar to that. It's like a light purpley, pretty color. Um, I'm gonna use my finger and press this shade all the way on the end. I don't know which one it is, but it's like the lightest pinky purple. I'm gonna use this on the outer corner, and then I might do a little bit of the darker shimmer in here in the outer corner as well. And I'm kind of rubbing it closer to the lash line. Okay, then I want to use this Glossier Monochromes Shimmer, just the shimmery shade from the Jute palette. And I'm gonna use that on the inner part of my eye to half. And this is just like a shimmery taupe. Okay, then I'll just blend that out. It's kind of like getting all blended together and muddy a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that deeper shimmer purple from this palette and just call it a day, honestly. I think that looks really nice. I haven't done a more purple toned eye in a while. This is like a taupey purple, 
but it's still super pretty. I haven't done this in a long time and I really love wearing like purpley shades. I also haven't done this. We'll see how this goes, but this is just the ColourPop little retractable, retractable. This is the ColourPop retractable eyeliner in the shade Sunny Veil. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush Try to pick up some of this eyeliner on the brush and then smudge it under my lash line. I don't know if this is gonna work. That actually works really well. And then I might just take this pencil and kind of run it super close to my lash line on the outer part of my eye. I really, really like this look. Um, okay, so we need some mascara and then brow gel and then I'll pick out a lip product. I'm gonna use this Rimmel mascara. I'm just gonna pop this on real quick. So for brows, I'm gonna use this Undone Beauty brow pen. I'm gonna use the pen actually as well because I've really only been using the gel side and I would love to kind of get a little bit better at this. I kind of have a lot of sparse areas right here in the front. If you look up close, it does not look good at all. I don't know if you can tell on camera but it just doesn't look like natural brow hairs. I do not know how to perfect this. I guess just more practice, but I'm gonna use the gel now. Hopefully that'll save it a little bit. Oh my God, it just looks like little dots underneath my eyebrow. That's my goal this month. By the end of December, I want to perfect doing my eyebrows with an eyebrow pen. So to finish off the look, I think I have a good lip combo here. I'm gonna use the Clinique Black Honey Lipstick and then this Tower 28 Clear Gloss in Chill on top. I think this will be a good wintry combo and it'll tie into the purple a little bit. And there you have it, this is the finished get ready with me using all of the December products. I really like this look. I think this is one of my favorite looks I've done using my like makeup baskets. I could totally see myself doing this makeup look for like Christmas or something like that. It's just very wintry and very pretty. And I do love this lip combo as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this shot my stash slash makeup rotation for December. I think I picked some good stuff for this month and I will keep you guys updated when it comes to lip products. Hopefully I can, you know, have a few more lip products this month than I used last month because last month I basically just used anything new that I had. So hopefully I use up some different products this month, maybe some reds for the holiday season. But I of course will update you guys in January for my January makeup rotation. So make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And yeah, I'll see you guys next month. Bye everyone.